Hey, let's see if the fan vote was correct. For me, my personal prediction, as much as I love myself some milk, uh, minus the ice cubes, I do, I, I do give an edge to Orbit here, I think. Coming in, but Callan saying, no, Pally, you're wrong. Put that save, anything but wrong. Beautifully done on that end. And back to the other side, Orbit looking to collect it here. Being contested, though, just out of the reach. So nice stuns from JL Graham to just bother the, the uh, receivers and off to the other side. Another interception going there this time. But right back to the other end. And now Blenders taking it away. Looks for a clear. The immediate boost as it sails right into his hands. Oh, couldn't quite make the shot, but maybe the rebound. No, see Jason tapping it out already off to a hot start defensively for both these teams playing the midline brawls and having themselves a good time just like myself here as they go up top, that top shelf, getting stunned, knocked off the shelf, clean up on aisle five. No spilled milk, but a little bit of spilled orbit. Does it make sense? Absolutely not. Sneaky Evil takes us away, though. Has some passes available, back pass and forward. We know how Orbit loves playing uh, that back line. Blender is usually staying back there, and indeed it's him receiving it. Zenith, Zenith, whatever he is, he's a menace. Going up for the dunk, but no, another save. Kellen again, beautifully done on the defensive end. And here they go on a s another run, just back and forth off some excellent defense. So now taking that deep shot, little off, couldn't make the catch. What a frantic start this game is off to. So here's some nice redirected boosting from One Scoop and Blenders. Uh, couldn't quite collect, trying to reach. But alas, the defense teaching. They can't just slap it down there because Captain Will had it covered. Now a bounce shot off the top again, taken back. Really frantic play at work. We want to see some for these two teams as this shot finally goes in for Zenith. Want to see some uh, maybe more slow play because all kinds of disarray. Granted, it's super entertaining to watch, but yeah. Kind of almost a gamble who was actually going to come away with that at the end of it just because of all the back and forth. So already off to a just wild start. Kind of uh, expecting that from two wild card teams is what you can describe them. Uh, describe them as, as Captain Will goes for the pass. Beautiful give and go, but wow, nice dive from Blenders. Doesn't surrender the goal at all. Now that's going to bounce upwards into Milk's side of the floor, just outside that bubble, being stunned out. It's trying to cause a little bit of chaos. Speaking of, Captain Will on that team, former member of Chaos. We got kind of, uh, ooh, as this boost comes out, actually, open goal, and there's a tie. Callan this time. But yeah, for a Milk, I mean, they're players here. They have C. Jason, former member of Ironic. Uh, they have Callan also, who was on Ironic last in the preseason. Captain Will was on Chaos, and JL Graham on Morris Moores, AKA Carbonite. So, very much an amalgamation, or an amalgamation, as that is an amazing save, but, or grab rather, but cannot make the pass. And ooh, Zenith losing his, his hands, or I don't know, he came back. That was a weird looking stoppage in his animations, but he's now trying to get back to the front line. And here they come blazing through. Looking for all those regrabs in quick fashion. Knocks it loose, Blenders. Oh, couldn't get it outside his reach. And Captain Will. Cross over to the corner, one more, but again, so this time Sneaky Evil coming away with it. Uh, right now, uh, Zenith taking that one, but for Orbit, they're doing a great job cutting off those give-and-go passes. That's the second time that Milk's attempted it, uh, and both times now, right in, right in that, in that uh, barrier area in front of it, it's just been cut off. So very nicely done on their part defensively. Trying to get this through now on the offense, one scoop. Just patiently playing as Sneaky stuns out both goalies there for Milk. So kind of shaking up that defense there. and I don't know, is it okay to shake Milk? I suppose it is, why not? So QB here is Kellen. QB goalie, he does all of the things there. It would seem. I see Jason over to the side wall. Captain Will retrieves that one. Just looking up at one on one, maybe. And there you go. He gets it tied up once again. We're about halfway through the first round. So far, super competitive. Possessions changing pretty much uh, 
you know, at a moment's notice, but a lot of the defense at play, the brawling in the midfield, especially, and then the goalkeeping, both ends of the, of the floor. We're seeing some good grabs, some good saves, some good dives on those cross passes, just not trying to concede anything easy here. Now, Sneaky does back this out, finding one of his teammates there, but again, the, the contest from the defense nearby, just kind of making him think about it too much, maybe. A blender's still on the retrieval and trying to deal that to someone on the other side of the floor. He had a couple options, found Sneaky. Uh, Sneaky gets it over to Zenith. Zenith going to avoid the defense of JL Graham. But look at how far out these guys from Milk are playing. Doing a great job, just pressuring every single opportunity. So it's like Orbit does not have time to really organize himself. Themselves, uh, that is to say. Trying to avoid the tongue tiedness as uh, a steal comes from Sneaky, and that's going to be just right into the corner of that goal post. So, seven to four, Orbit finally uh, finding the first three points of the game for either team. Seven to four. And what a flurry this has been. Uh, again, just back and forth, fast action, can't even stop to drink my Dr. Pepper. How am I gonna get that sponsorship money if I can't talk about Dr. Pepper? But let's see if these teams can pepper in some more goals. JL Graham trying to make it happen with that uh, pass over to Captain Will. But Captain Will now just dumping it off into the side wall, taken back, and maybe just dodging the defense. But look at that, that, oh, oh, JL Graham, beautiful. Hands up to the sky, you deserve it. Great play there. You see how he anticipated that just beautifully. Got the punch, got the disc, got the shot. So great job from JL as it sails over here. That's a quick boost, uh, just dodging, but see, it, one scoop, nicely off the wall, plays it perfectly. Sneaky Evil now looking for the cut, but instead getting cut loose, see Jason the grab, sends it through, back to the stacks. Once again, and look at that speed here. Zenith just taking place in the goal, wait, waiting for his a back pass, just if necessary. Doesn't seem to be the case. So instead, a cross, but again, cut off nicely. Really impressed by the defense from both of these teams. They're playing those mid lanes uh, deep, in fact. It's not just bubble defense, but they're playing out a bow tie at mid, and they're cutting off these lanes and forcing so many tough passes, errant passes, doing a great job of it at that. Uh, so going to the sky for that shot. I don't think that was a cloud shot, just looking to sail it somewhere. If you could sail a cloud. I don't know. Sky Pirates, these guys. We do have Captain Will, so why not? Captain Will is Sky Pirate trying to find it. I did notice he was playing on his alt account before this match started. I'm not going to tell you what the name was because I'm pretty sure the FCC would censor me. But Captain something or other. And they're just trying to recover and... See if they can make this, a, make this a lead for them. Playing some good defense here for Milk. But right now, a minute 38 left. 7-7. Seven to seven. It has been a tight game. Again, the fan vote, the connoisseur vote on the VRML website had uh, 15 people favoring uh, Orbit here over on Blue. So Orbit looking at what, uh, what they can do. Right now, Orbit just, uh, again, orbiting around that bubble, trying to find their avenues, uh, but they're not really able to get some of the things they're used to getting because of the defensive pressure that we're seeing a lot of the time. Uh, Milk does receive this one. We have Sneaky Evil. E evil, wow. Evil. And trying to find a clear here for Orbit. Blenders cannot. So Orbit takes it over, sends it through, looking for that clear and boost, kind of not nicely dodging through that top uh, lane. And oh, looking at the open lane, Zenith. He is feeling the zen, he is on cloud nine for the 10th point. And that is a three point lead for Orbit. 41 seconds left in position to take this first round, perhaps. Yeah, 15 to nine for Orbit uh, on that fan vote over on the web page, as Rox mentioned. So we'll see. But again, Rox Titan uh, subbing for Milk three times in the first couple weeks. Definitely a great player to have, but I'm sure for Milk, they're just happy to have their full roster. And going in for that risky three, maybe too much. They still had a bit of time to waste, not to waste, but to burn on the clock. 
to maybe get one better looking opportunity, but cannot. Now the shot is off, but doesn't really matter because Orbit uh, right now has that in the bag as they go up top and one more shot just as well. So bagging themselves some milk and uh, 12 to seven in their favor. So we can put those scores right quick for you. And let's take a look at the highlights, the scores, all the good stuff that amazed in that round. Here you go. All right, so it's seven points for Zenith leading his team, as well as 19 stuns, a couple steals. One scoop, it's two points, 11 stuns. Uh, blenders, one save, two stuns. Don't let it fool you. Again, he's a guy who, in any other situation, any other team in pubs, he will be playing very offensively and to great efficacy, but on orbit, he is just a backliner. He is there for the back pass. He is there for the interceptions, and that's what he that's what he does and excels at. And that's why Orbit has a lot of their success just playing the, those lanes beautifully. I mean, both teams really, but uh, Orbit just as much as any team. Now, Sneaky Evil with three points, two saves, and a dozen stuns. Looking at Milk's side, they have three points for JL Graham leading for his team to go along with a steal and 15 stuns. Uh, Captain Will with a pair of points, an assist, and 19 stuns. C. Jason with an assist, a save, a steal, and 13 stuns. And Callan with two points, a save, and eight stuns. I'm pretty sure Callan had uh, at least a couple more saves, one or two that he just wasn't credited for, for one reason or another. But that's okay, because I see you, Callan. I see you. Now, here we go. Round two. Maybe. Maybe. If I, uh, this thing would uh, work for me. There, it worked. I'm late. Not toast, but I am late. Over here it goes to the corner. Round two underway. Luckily we didn't miss too much on that one. So see, Jason takes it away. Now Kellen looking for a pass to Captain Will. This is going to be a good opportunity, but Blenders showing his defensive capabilities. Missed an opportunity, opportunity to say Blender the defender, but that's okay because putting him in a Blender for that hot shot slicing through it's Blenders now for the three. 12, 11, 10, so right away here, seven, Orbit cooking six, five, with a few points. Four, three, two, so taking this now, Milk going down to the bottom of the ramp. Orbit though, Blenders taking that one and the very back line couldn't quite find as clear, so Let's see what happens. It's a nice short range leech uh, from one scoop back there. Couldn't quite find much, but actually, maybe not. I lied because uh, in Orbit will, in fact, get that one. It's going to be a deep shot. Uh, has a chance to go in or rebound, but no. Uh, yes, I lied again. Blenders making me cry. Liar out of me, but Blenders on fire. And gladly takes the five point lead for his team. Just a minute and a half into the second round, uh, a pair of Great offensive plays from Blenders, as well as the defense, the save. Good stuff. Showing their stuff here as Callan launches out, and Zenith pressures. So Milk on offense, trying to make their plays, but ooh, the double clutch is just going to be taken out. Nabbed by Zenith, and he'll gently, gently lay that in. So, three more points for Orbit, and after what was an extremely close back and forth round in the first, right now, Orbit is just uh, building, building that momentum. They're, they're just pulling ahead and uh, showing their, uh, well, kind of what I said they're, they're capable of before, you know, finally having their full team available for them, and now they're starting to show what uh, impressed us over there in, in November, December, and that one. Another shot this time for Milk, finally getting on the board and close range. We're seeing these one-on-one these -on -one opportunities also starting to unfold, dating back to the last round. And if you can get those, that's going to buy you a lot of easier goals. You know, I mentioned uh, one reason we see teams like to uh, go for the slow play is because if you can play it slow, especially when you have the lead and you can drag out defenders outside the bubble, uh, that makes the situation over in the inside of the two-point two zone all the less clustered up. And the less clustered it is, the easier your offense is, at least in theory, if you can get those passes to the inside. Oh, whew, a lot of mustard on that one. A lot of strength. So taken away and sent clear into the mid. Bit of a missed opportunity for Orbit, but they will actually get it back here. 
but not for too long as Milk does uh, put it off to the other side once again. There's a good leech from Zenith from Orbit, and Orbit all over in, on their own side of the field looking for that back pass, trying to find Sneaky. So played that one well, and uh, one scoop just the same right inside the goal, and now they just need to find a clear and boost. Honestly, a little bit slow though. No one on Orbit quite looking for each other until way too late, so as a result, Milk does get the disc right back for their team, and Milk on the offense now being dove upon. And that's a great dive to deny as <laughs> Jay Hellcram swings around the defender. Good pass to see Jason right back to Graham for the Graham slam. Four points now for Milk, still down by four, however. 12, 11, 10. Also, hi to chat. Uh, sorry, I see a lot of chat going on. Sorry, I'm like super, super into this game. I've totally ignored you, fine folk over there. But I see you. Moangri, Chronic Pones, Jay Walker, Rocks. Hello. And goodbye again, because I'm going back to casting now. Have a good time. All right, over here. Goes into the top of the ceiling. Kellen taking that no problem. It's a good delivery to see Jason. Going to line that up, but uh, no cigar, because cutting it off his blenders in his favorite spot, or at least one of his many favorite spots in that same general area. Good back pass to Kellen. And sent it to the midfield and then cleared on out over into the blue area. Now that's going to be a nice retrieval and could not get the grab. Zena slapping it out, but still right back for Milk on offense. Another intercept here. So Milk starting to do a little bit of the blenders from up in the midline. See if they can do it again. These clears just very uh, quick to come. So they're not getting a ton of accuracy on some of them. And right back it goes to Milk. So Milk backs it to Callan. Callan looking again for a passing play. You can see these anchors on uh, either corners, Captain Will and JL, you know, top and bottom corner, but couldn't find the pass, unfortunately, so turnover again into the bubble. And trying to give them a little more trouble. There's Sneaky Evil, gentle pass to one scoop. And a gentle bounce, I suppose, to JL Graham, who gives it right back to one scoop, though. So the giveaway, the throw away, the take away, the save, and it's on to the other side on this play. Once again, three people, four milk, all boosting together, trying to find themselves that disc, but miss grabs a plenty as the frantic defense finds themselves on the goal. Now here's a nice potential clear and boost situation. Grabbed by Blenders. He's gonna take that corner slice of a shot. Couldn't quite convert. Sneaky, top corner, backs it out again. One scoop here on that side panel. Tries to find Sneaky. Once more clear though, into the midfield and intercepted and taken. But again, so, so the frantic play continuing. We're, we saw some of this a bit in the first round as that one just sails into the two point zone and nice punches coming out. We, we saw that a lot of this in the first round, too, where for several minutes, especially at the very beginning, there was a lot of ping-ponging and no one really maintaining control of the, the disc for too long. Uh, just, oh, nice re-grabs, though. Leeches. But yeah, so I think these teams out of sorts, like I said, they're not necessarily used to uh, being so contested in a lot of this, this outside-the-bubble play. So the fact that they are is just kind of throwing them off their usual offensive game, their offensive scheme. Now that said, Orbit still does have themselves a four point lead, so obviously they're still compensating plenty well, but still uh, a little frantic is all I'm saying. So back into the possession of Captain Will and Milk, but taken in the midfield by Blenders again. There's three people all piling. So a lot of Milk and just a lot of stuns as well. <laughs> Trying to find a, a way to break through this midfield, but both teams getting so stuck in there over and over with these turnarounds and turnovers. That shot bouncing off the wall, taken here, dumped down to the bottom of the floor. Oh, Blenders looks like he lost his hands, his headset, I don't know, but they will set it into the goal for the Graham shot. That's a two point game with under two left to go in round two. That's a lot of twos. Eight, seven, six, five, four, and now they restart, as uh, I suppose predict uh, predicted, 
I wasn't actually thinking of it, but it would make sense. So, yeah, we will get hopefully one player back. Uh, well, Blenders, actually. Someone now from Milk is gone. But it was Blenders for Orbit who was not there. Moangri and Jay Walker saying, Milk, 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 Orbit, Orbit, Orbit. Yes, that is the name of the, the teams. What do you want me to call them? <laughs> I'll call them anything you want. Just kidding, because that's a very dangerous precedent to set. But, yes. Uh, who else? Keep keep me uh engaged here, chat, or or bit or bit or bit. So far, really anyone's game. Uh, again, less than two minutes left. I believe it was one forty nine or fifty nine, roughly, as that goal was scored. As far as when, excuse you. But I suppose uh, if the teams know what time it was reset specifically, that's more ideal than just resetting after the goal was scored. But that's the thing. See, the spectator side of things, we don't actually get uh, notified when the restart occurs. Like, we don't get the, the little ding. So it's, it's hard to say exactly you know, when, when the reset button was first pressed, why the team calling that timeout. But yeah, that's okay. Looks like they got it all set. I mean, 147, sure. 8 to 6. Right now, a milk. Excuse you. I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just gonna hop away over here. Team ready. All right, here we go. Starting in. 12, 11, 10, 9, so still here, second round. Don't mind what it says under the clock. That is now incorrect. 147, round two. One game for orbit already. First round, that is, to say, as, oh yeah, it's not spawning in the middle. Silly pally. Anyway, over here goes to one scoop. One scoop looking down to Zenith. He has it knocked out by C. Jason Callen will dump it off into the other side. Blenders in the mid lane playing that one, looking for maybe to make it a uh, bigger lead for him. Could not quite convert on it, so Captain Will gets another clear, sends it out into the orbit zone. And at the moment, orbit... Orbit, 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 trying to get it through the hole in the tunnel in the middle. Could not. Uh, Callan finds that disc. He has a couple options, but look at how, again, how tight the defense is really playing. Like, there, there aren't really great passes available uh, that these teams are used to. So, honestly, the, the man, man v man, semi man v man, semi zone. I don't know what you want to call it exactly, but regardless the, the cutoffs on the passing lanes are right now are pretty intense and hard to deal with for these teams so down to the pocket as a dog pile might be looking to form there's a lot of people in this general area but uh, retaining is blenders sends it to one scoop and he's gonna quickly get rid of it but maybe into the hands of the stack so that's a nice recognition by C Jason and the milk stack to uh, find it but right now finding it again some back and forth steals going on. Sending it back, and again, the mid lane defense continues strongly. A milk, they have 17 seconds to make a play at that goal. Oh, if that one goes in, that was so close, and a steal, a slam. JL Graham will tie it for an overtime in round two. Absolutely clutch. First of all, that shot was almost amazing. That could have been a game winner there. But instead, the absolutely... Timely boosting from JL Graham gets back in time, so he's able to recover it, able to tie it up just as the clock was set to expire. Amazing job from uh, Milk there. Now the question is, can they win the Joust? Because these Jousts, I say it all the time, they end really frequently, and usually whoever takes it first always finds themselves with a numbers advantage on the front line. You can see it right here. They need to make a quick pass for Orbit and not doing it, so they allow the defense time to get back into the bubble. They had almost a two-on-one at goal, but the pass a little bit just uh, delayed, maybe. Maybe being a mistake here, but who knows, because right now playing up on the goal, they have a pass to Sneaky Evil. He can't quite grab that one. Back to orbit, though, and back to a resetted position for Blenders, who will look up top to Snakey Evil. And now it's double corner passes available on either shoulder. But look, again, just contested so well. Honestly, this midfield defense is, like, 
incredible as that shot from Zenith, delivered by one scoop orbit in round two overtime, wins this game. 10 to eight. What a bonkers play that was to end. Just slung it behind his back, it looked like, and show you a replay in just a moment. Gotta make sure to input the scores because otherwise I talk too much and then I forget. But here you go. Here you go. So look at that, the delivery. Nice cross pass on that zipper. Then look at that, Zenith. Just slung it behind his back. Two defenders all over him, draped like a clothesline, but did not matter. So great play for Orbit. And uh, gets the win. Unfortunately, because of the resets, uh, late in that second round, we don't have much, many stats to show anyway. So hey, that's OK. But. Yeah, all right. That only wish is that it could have gone to round three. That's always the <laughs> wish. It was so close. But otherwise, Orbit, congratulations to them on this win. Uh, they will, in fact, hand Milk their first defeat. So Milk will now be four and one in season one. And Orbit will improve to three and two. And somewhere out there, uh, Redroomba finally able to s uh, stay true to the pun he was trying to make all week saying, spill that milk, and uh, I guess they did. Gotta milk those puns for all they're worth, eh? Yeah, that's the pally way. See how I even threw in a rhyme in there? It's like, it's two times the pally way. I'm stupid. All right, well, anyway, that is the game. Thank you for joining us here today. I'll bring up the schedule for you real quick, and we'll take a look at what's to come. Uh, we're going to see Milk again tomorrow versus Nova. So a rebound game now for Milk uh, going against Nova. So another space theme team, I guess. Nova Orbit. Uh, yeah, it works. And as well as Kangorillas and Infinite, which is going to be a barn burner. I can feel it. Looks like right now, though, look at that. 17 people heavily favoring Kangorillas over Infinite. Interesting. Now, Kangorillas have been dominant, of course. Uh, looking really good this this season, but Infinite is definitely no joke at all. I mean, they were the number one seeded team in preseason for most of that uh, six-week span, and for a good reason. You know, maybe off to a, a slightly slower start than they anticipated, but uh, yeah, the differentials surprised me a little bit. Just because you you got to figure eventually, eventually, law of averages goes into place, and maybe Kangorillas are due maybe a slightly off game, or Infinite is due a really hot game. So I, th I think it might be a lot closer than we think, but we'll see. Anywho, yes, uh, that'll do it. I I'm kind of sad we don't have any more to cast. Like I said, I'm feeling feeling good today. It's amazing what, you know, fresh, fresh change of clothes and a haircut and Dr. Pepper, sponsored by Dr. Pepper, will do for a man's mentality. So I wanted to do some more matches, but that's all we have for you. So, hey. Thank you, everyone there, for joining us today. Uh, Sputnik coming in late, I think. <laughs> uh, Chronic Pones, nice job, Pally. Thank you. Sputnik asking, is everything over? Yep, yeah, so. Sorry. <laughs> I would keep going on if I could. I mean, I can, but I probably shouldn't, so I won't. Rocks Titan mentioning the, the uh, uh, wizard's sleeve that Sputnik coined for us on one of the streams in week one. Fun times. But yeah, PepsiCo does not endorse this stream, says Sputnik. How do you know? I might I might have a little something something under you know under the table. You don't know. Why why do you think I'm so critical of milk and, and the the ice cubes in their logo? Yeah? Because I'm astroturfing here. I'm trying to Trying to put over uh, PepsiCo. Milk is bad for you. Don't 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 drink it, especially with ice. That's alarming. Anyway, <laughs> chronic bones. I sorry. I don't I don't really have a story. I can tell. I don't think. I mean, I <laughs> I have stories, but it's neither here nor there. I really should go now. But yes. Ice milk is just like iced coffee without the coffee. Hmm. Uh, I, 
I mean, logically, Rux, that makes some sense. Sort of, but... I don't like it. And neither should you. Yeah, and Kung asking who won. It was, yeah, Orbit winning there. I mean, you can uh, see the scores 12 to 7 in round one, 10 to 8 over in the second. Very close game. Went to OT. I mean, it really was anyone's game for sure. And that, there were some super clutch plays all throughout. Uh, early on, we saw just those amazing saves. The midfield defense, again, can't give that one enough praise. Both of these teams had some just incredible mid lane play. They were forcing so many turnovers based on defense. It wasn't like they were unforced errors. It was just there was barely any time to work with. So suffocating on the defensive end, both of these teams. And I think it got both of them in kind of a disarray at points, uh, just trying to find their footing. But yeah, it was ultimately Orbit who took that uh, series away and denied us the chance at the round three, the ever elusive round three. Chronic Pones, in response to Rox's ice, ice milk coffee, I think, says, that sounds awful. Uh, I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Yes. I banish you, Rox, from this stream, just as well. I banish myself. This has been VRML. I've been Palador. That was Milk vs. Orbit. And good night. <laughs>